Okay. Um, hello, everyone. I hope that all of you can hear me. Uh, if you can, uh, could you please just let me know in the comment section if you can hear me out. All right. Just give me a second. Just check it on the phone. एक बार YouTube पे जाकर. Start हो गया. All right. I would also need to see the comments. No, I don't have a different computer today. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, you know, there's a lot of confusion. So, if you have any questions, please make sure that you are asking all of them in the chat, right? So, first of all, there's a confusion in between: should you be solving uh, digital questions from our website, or should you be solving NQT questions, right? So, uh, more or less, the database for both of them is the same, apart from coding. Apart from coding. Right. So uh, since uh, there was a NQT drive just recently for 2021 graduates, so I would personally recommend that okay, go to TCS NQT dashboards of prep and stuff, and uh, we have updated the latest questions that are asked uh, that were asked like uh, uh, the exam. There were four slots, and then there were seven eight days on which the exam happened. So you know, uh, four multiplied by seven. So we have these uh, seven into you know whatever twenty one different uh, actual previous year papers of the latest NQT on TCS NQT dashboard. So that is where you should be going ahead and solving that. Uh, a lot of those questions we've purposely added in the paid version of it, right? Um, so you know. If you're going ahead with the free, so it could be again because I I have no I have little idea about what my team is doing. So again, that. However, for the coding questions, you need to go to the TCS digital dashboard of Prep Insta, and from there, and both NQT. So even though TCS in its internal email has said said that both of these coding questions would be of medium difficulty, but it's not true. One would be easy, one would be medium, uh, you know, medium to hard difficulty. One would also be based upon data structures. Uh, for a lot of you, I. I'm already telling you that a few questions you can expect on stacks, queues, searching, sorting, and all of that. Right now, uh, so third year. So this is only for the people who are working already in TCS. Right. Uh, so for all of you. Uh, right. So also, if you really want to prepare for that, so we have already updated the course. Right. Uh, for TCS. Right. So we'd be covering coding, the advanced coding section also in this particular course. We'd be covering the latest uh, TCS uh, uh, papers that are just like one month old papers because the exam for 2021 batch recently happened. Then they generally use the same database from that. Right. So you can join the course. The price uh, is mentioned. You'll use the coupon code YouTube further on this 2000 price. You'll get a further discount. Again, clarifying upon it. uh this is updated this is an updated course that we are also telling you again for a lot of people who were confused about it i'll just show you what all things would you be getting here so you know uh, basic reasoning ability so this these are the kind of videos that we have again maybe a lot of you would have used prep insta pass in the past right so you were given 3 4 5 6 statements so uh, like these reasoning ability questions these aptitude theory uh, would be covered aptitude tcs questions would be covered then english section would be covered in terms of if you talk about so there's these coding questions coding question 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and then there's a separate coding again this is updated one so we've updated all of those videos on this particular page so again uh, in whichever preferred language java python c c++ whichever you have as you can see there like i can keep on scrolling down uh, based upon the latest questions that have come in tcs will also be giving you a pdf uh, which has the latest questions of tcs also right so now just i want to go back and take up questions so that i can answer all of those questions a little more relevantly for you right uh, people who just got offer letter are they eligible no you have to be as of now so for example if you've gotten an offer letter you are not working in tcs uh, you just have an, have an offer so again offer could also be cancelled first of all again it has happened in the past so if you are an existing employee in tcs who's working in tcs then only you can apply right i gave exam in tcs 2020 and received the scored card but did not receive further instructions or job opportunity uh no for 2021 pass out this is not for 2021 pass out again uh we haven't spoken with tcs necessarily uh, again this is something that i would do probably 
today or tomorrow and then we'll give you an update but we are sure that the exam that they said in january is going to be postponed to february right uh, because of the internal hiring that is going on how to prepare for the exam in 15 days right uh, we've made a course for it uh, i don't think uh, we can help you in much better way i don't think these 30 minutes could be it so the whole course covers the all the previous year papers including the previous year papers that have come uh, just one month ago uh, in the nqt exam uh, advanced coding section is also covered in that right uh, i again you have exams on 28th i think the registrations have closed already 2 3 days ago exam pattern is something again uh, i'll just show you so this is an internal document that we got uh, i'm sure a lot of you would also have this one uh, okay so let me zoom in so again uh this is you have uh, 15 questions of verbal ability 30 uh, sorry the 15 minutes 20 questions in verbal you can take a screenshot of it if you like if you don't have already if you already do not have this on you right and you can also see there is a difficulty level also mentioned here i am assuming that a lot of you would already have it because this was floated by tcs internally also so the difficulty of the exam 20% easy 27% medium 53% difficult and the advanced coding they are saying 100% it is going to be difficult again they've also mentioned a few topics also i think um, Uh, these are the topics also for num number system arithmetic elementary statistics and data interpretation this is the whole exact syllabus that tcs gave one month ago but they were asking speed time and distance time and work everything right so the most important topic uh, basically you have to cover the whole aptitude right um, the by number system they are assuming that okay it's profit and loss and everything also it's not like okay i'll study data and interpretation i'll study mean median mode and number system lcm hcf and fractions it's not like that you have to study whole uh, previous year papers right <coughs> whole syllabus of aptitude more or less okay uh, again you can take a screenshot of it if you like yeah so the last date was 3rd of january right advanced coding two public test cases three private test cases uh and there are 17 languages from which you can choose again uh, generally they give you five languages but in this case they would be giving 17 languages these are the languages that you can use you can take a screenshot of it again uh, where the exams would happen and all of that information for the is also mentioned here like this is wings so there are two parts internally wings one wings two uh, so the wings one path one part two uh, all of that also for example right um i would not recommend uh, just going ahead with the mock test uh, the reason being yes we've updated the uh, latest questions that have come one month ago which you can check so uh, but we've more made more videos for those questions so the text format is a little lagging behind because of our, our team working from home a few of us are working from office as you can see here right uh, but a few of the team is again so i would personally recommend that you go ahead with the prime video course but if not then you can go ahead with the prime mock as well if you would like that right but uh, you know consider this again I i'm sure that all of you are working in tcs so you now are not freshers and are not stupid uh again when i was a fresher i was really stupid <laughs> so uh i was like okay i have to pay 2000 rupees or let's say this particular rupees uh why don't i i'll not do it i'll prepare on my own again you guys would know about it uh, how you guys were back then in college now it's more like an uh, upskilling yourself again your package would be 3.5 or 3.8 or 4.1 based upon i i don't think that you would have gotten promotion till now but you would increase that to 7 lpa right so if Uh, a little investment in your life to do certifications or to do this would i think would i would be recommending that also one more thing is a uh, uh, mock test uh, that are provided by tcs we check that uh, those are wrong uh, in terms of and and again uh, uh, to comp with complete respect to tcs but generally it is something that we've always seen it and i, I i'm sure that you guys would also know the level of difficulty in in mock test that they give is not even 30% of the actual level of difficulty that comes in the actual exam uh, 
uh, and I assume that this is something that also happened for 2020 to 2020 batches also, right? So you would have given the mock test like, okay, fine, cool. But then when you gave the actual test, it was very difficult, right? So again, if they've, and we've, I, I personally checked that uh, mock test on GNOME website. Uh, it's a little uh, easy and the actual exam would not be. I'm not sure why do they do that, but they should give the exact same difficulty. I'll also give the same feedback to a few people that I, if I speak to a few people in DCS in the next few days. All right, hi, Binay. Uh, can every TCS employee register for this test? Yes, uh, again, you should already be working with TCS. If you just have an offer and are not working, then you cannot. It is internal hiring, wings one. Again, just to show you the syllabus once again, this is more or less like the syllabus uh, uh, internal document that they have. Okay, so again, uh, to come across, uh, the link to this particular course is in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please do ask. Uh, I really want to cover all of that. Uh, if if you are a 2021 batch as of now and you have not gotten any offer letter from TCS, uh, from my understanding, I don't think you will be getting any offer. You, you just got the score and you are done. Nothing further would happen. You have to wait for the drive that will happen in February, uh, I think. Again, it was they announced that okay, it, it is going to be in January, but I think it would now would be in February, right? So you start preparing for that as soon as possible. It would happen certainly if TCS announced it, it would happen, right? I found that tough since I got confused because so many questions from advanced voting questions we get. Again, the editor had always an issue code editor, so I'm just going to remind you about that. Uh, the test i think uh would be conducted twice in a year that's what i think uh so i think if, if they'll conduct this time in february uh then uh, you would get that again with 2022 batch no if you don't do well in coding there's no chance uh there's still a chance if you don't do well in let's say english or aptitude but if you don't do well in coding uh there's no chance at all also, even though they don't say like this, the easy questions, uh, I think particularly have lesser marks, medium have higher marks and uh, hard questions have even further higher marks that also we've covered in our course, uh, the latest pattern of it, right? So there's, as you can see, 20% easy, 27% medium, 53% difficult, right? Uh, so just like star mark questions that earlier were there, I think even though they don't say star mark, but there are questions with that. Uh, I have attended October NQD cycle and selected for Ninja Topper Digital after attending the programming round. I have not received any. Uh, Dibya, I think uh, there's an, it's a very unique case. Email TCS, I think they forgot to take your interview. Maybe because from my understanding, and also I may be wrong, uh, from my understanding, all the interviews are done for TCS NQT. Uh, and digital as well. Now they're going ahead with the lateral hiring. And then after that, it's done because of the issues that were there and because of the drastic failure that was there in the October exam. So they are, have they, are, they said that, okay, they are going to conduct it again so that they make it fair for everyone. So they said in January, but I think it would be in February. So your exam date depends. Again, I think most of the people are having on 28th, but you'll get a mail from internal TCS team. Coding questions, possible topics, I think arrays, strings, data structures, uh, uh, trees, uh, linked list, tags, queues, uh, Pythagoras triplets, and these type of questions, right? Again, we've covered everything in our course. Uh, I don't remember the exact videos that we've made, but more or less, these are the highlights of what I remember. But so you can check all of those things in the course uh, already, uh, as you can see. So here, there's the coding part of the course, right? So there's like a lot of coding videos on this particular page that we, that our previous year coding questions of TCS uh, and uh, this October coding questions also. And in fact, uh, a few questions that we also think should ideally be coming in the exam. All right, uh, again, more coding questions here, bubble sort and uh, English, 
uh, aptitude, so on and so forth. So you'll be getting access to good quality of the videos that's like this, not like a screen recording video. Is a lot. Number, I can't say that the number is correct so thank you in so much case, again all the links to, uh, are in the description no, no. of this particular the video uh, I would invite you with my open hands that okay uh, join the course of TCS and QT uh, we've recently updated it for internal hiring drive as well and have updated the recent questions asked in the October drive that happened for 2021 batches as well right Again, so this is again, a lot of people had confusion more or less from where to study. Should they be studying from the digital dashboard of Rep Insta or NQT dashboard of Rep Insta? So that's the main concern that I've come across again. Uh, if you join the course, you'll get that information on, on, on your own. But if you just want to go ahead, so I'll say for aptitude, so quants, logical and English, you should try out the NQT dashboard. And for the coding part, you should try the TCS digital advanced coding page and again the videos that we gave it to you right so thank you so much again the coupon code is youtube will get further discount uh, all of you are earning now so i don't think it would be an issue anymore for any of you right thank you so much uh, all the very best